Oh, hello there. Um, I'm on JW.org. Uh, this number's given for Bethnal Green Congregation. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, right. Can I help? Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. I've got a couple of things I don't understand, if it's possible to help. Sorry, can you, can you repeat? I missed... <laughs> um, you're reading a book, you said. Yes, I'm reading Enjoy Life Forever. Ah, OK, 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 yes. Yeah. OK, and... Um, where did you get the book? Are you are you a Jehovah's Witness or you're someone that no? No, no, I'm just yeah, reading I, the book. I downloaded I just, it from JW.org. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. Yes, okay. Um, there's a couple of things I don't understand, and I was wondering if somebody could help me. Um, okay. Um, I think uh, yes. Uh, they should. Honestly, this number that you phone in is really in relation with the, uh, one of our place of worship, Kingdom Hall, just for the times and uh, you know, and um, when we having our meetings and stuff like that. But uh, you should be able to. Um, oh, please don't pass the buck. On online discussion. Please don't pass the buck or, again. Sorry, or you can make a request of a visit. Please, as well. I do not want someone to visit me at my home. Uh, you I mean, want, uh, okay. do you want to help me or not? Are you concerned that yeah, you Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, I don't mind okay. if I can. No, no, what I was trying to say, I might not be the, maybe the, just the right person for you, but I try my best uh, to okay. answer your question. Okay. Um, I'm curious about Chapter 24, Section 3, Paragraph 3. Yes. Do, you mind, do you mind to hold on a second? Because yes. I, I get the book, so yes. I can look into it, yes? All right, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for calling anyway. I mean, Thank you. Uh, I appreciate uh, Yes. Um, I could speak in more depth at another time. Maybe if you okay. have a natural English speaker with you, okay. the, the, the pair of yeah. you could speak to me at another time. I can speak any day, any evening, yes. except for Monday. I can never speak on a Monday. Any other time is fine, provided you give me notice. I can also Zoom. If you okay. prefer to speak on Zoom. Keep, I, I keep that in mind and then uh, I see what I can do for you, yeah? Okay. Uh, can, I, can I possibly uh, text you? Yes, yes, yes. You need to give me a precise oh, time. Yeah, I'm yeah, not... to, to, yeah, what I mean, it takes you to arrange maybe a, a further discussion if that is what you desire. Well, that's what I'm asking for. And I'm telling okay. you I can speak any day except for Mondays. I don't have a family. I don't have wife or kids. So I can fit in around you, any time you uh, choose, okay. but okay. not on a Monday. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I understand. <clears throat> okay, I'm uh, here, a, 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 what you said, chapter 24, yeah? Yes, it's page 99. Yep, and I'm there, yes. Paragraph... What is, the, what is the truth about the angels? Yes, paragraph 3 says, Satan yeah. and the demons mislead many people through demonism or spiritism, which is the bad practice of trying to communicate with spirits. For yeah. example, some people consult astrologers, fortune tellers, psychics and witch doctors. Others seek form of medical treatment that involves spiritism. People are also tricked into believing that they can speak to the dead. But Jehovah warns us, do not turn to the spirit mediums and do not consult fortune tellers. He gives us this warning to protect us from Satan and the demons. They are God's enemy, enemies and they want to harm us. The book yes. seems to be very strong in saying that true Christians should have nothing to do with the occult or spiritism or, or contacting spirits. Well, it's, it's written in the Bible, isn't it? It's not just a book. Um, yes. If you read the Bible, it's, it's quoted there in Leviticus which is part of the Bible, um, it, it, it is, uh, yes, is making clear God. God is making clear because that is God speaking according to the account. And um, it gives a, a, a clear um, direction there, not, not to get involved. There are other scriptures where the touch on spiritism um, in the Bible. 
um, they make it clear that they uh, not to get uh, involved with spiritistic practices. Mm -hmm. So what was the question for you? So you, you, you um, specifically, do you have a question in mind in relation with this topic? Yes, the, the Watchtower of the 15th of February 1956, page 111, approves yeah. of Spiritism. It talks about Pastor Johannes Grieber, who was a Catholic priest who got defrocked. That means he stopped being a Catholic priest. And he, Grieber married, and he married a woman who was a spiritist. And Grieber joined in these seances. Eventually they used automatic writing and then the Ouija board to contact the spirits. And Grieber produced a New Testament uh, as, as dictated to him by the spirit world. Um, it was the only Bible translated by Ouija board. Now, the Watchtower approves of this in this 1956 Watchtower article. It said that truly the spirits that Pastor Grieber contacted helped him with his translation. Mm -hmm. So why is the Watchtower approving of spiritism in that Watchtower? Well, I don't have the Watchtower under my eyes, the one that you're referring to. Um, so uh, exactly, I cannot make a comment on that really because I had to read it first. I, I, I have strong doubts that even at that time, uh, the um, organization, Jehovah's People organization, have ever said something in favor of spiritism, uh, because um, it's, it's clear from from the Bible in any time for any Christian, the spiritistic practices they, they should be avoided. Um, so, but as I said, I don't have the watch tower that you're referring to. Um, would you like to write down the reference and look at it? Because that Watchtower approves of Pastor Grieber's Bible, his New Testament. Uh, it knew and it approved of the fact that the spirits helped Pastor Grieber with his translation through these seances. Uh, 15th of February, 1956. Yeah, if you can, do you mind to text me the reference? Uh, yes, of course. Um, the reason why they liked Pastor Grieber's translation was that Grieber's Bible, the spirits told Grieber that John 1.1 1, 1 was mistranslated. It should read, and the word was a God. And there are a few other places in Pastor Grieber's Bible where the renderings, the way that it reads in Pastor Grieber's Bible, translated by Ouija board, found its way into the New World Translation. And so for 25 years, the Watchtower quoted Pastor Grieber's New Testament approvingly, um, in the word who is he according to John page 5 in the aid to Bible understanding page 1134 and also page 1669 and other books for 25 years the Watchtower quoted Pastor Grieber approvingly but I never I never, have, I never read that to be honest it's just to me it sounds really odd to our beliefs so I don't know where you got that information from. But, well, uh, um, I, uh, the word who is he, according to John, page 5, quotes Pastor Grieber in a footnote saying that Grieber's rendering of John 1.1, 1, 1, the word was a God, was um, correct. And it quotes Grieber for support. The aid book, page 1134 sorry, and yes, 1669. Well, anyway, I don't understand the point you want to make. Do you believe in what this, uh, that version that you mentioned it says? Is that what you... What was the reason of your query? Do you understand? Well, Do you want to know more I don't about what the Jehovah's Witnesses teach, or you are interested in a debate? No, I'm not interested in a debate. I want to know why the Watchtower publications are supporting a spiritist. Pastor yeah, Johannes Grieber. That, that is uh, 100%. So that even is though what? I haven't read the, what, 100%? I, I, mean, I can read, I can read the, the, the Watchtower that you're referring to, because of course it's is uh, an old issues and uh, but uh, I'm sure I can retrieve the information yes, yes, sure. what is now. but but is uh, the doubt is a hundred percent of what you said that there is no support uh, in any time in Jehovah's uh, Witnesses history of spiritistic practice it's always been quite clear and against it uh, because the Bible is clear on that so because we are very careful of trying to uh, teach uh, what God 
uh, has uh, has taught mm -hmm. through the Bible. So we will be very 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 careful and very um, apprehensive to, to 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 say anything that could be interpreted as supporting um, spiritistic practice, as you say. I'm sure maybe you 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 had it. Um, Maybe you got it wrong somehow in that sense. Um, I, I mean, don't know why you're stuck in that issue anyway, because also if there was, because uh, from 1956, I think Joe Williams has, has anyway published much more and more information on the subject. So, uh, that maybe also, is, even online, if you search online on spiritistic practices, and even the, 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 the chapter of his book that is very recent, this book has been published, so that it made it clear where we stand on the on the matter. So I don't understand really why you uh, insist on this point, really. Well, I, I don't understand how you can speak so dogmatically when you haven't researched this I'm not and checked out the references, which I'm happy to send you. As I said, we are not interested in, in debate, but uh, here in chapter 24, it's very clear if you read all through the chapter, there are quotations from the Bible you can read personally. I, I understand uh, so you, that. You I, can make your judgment. I used to go to religious buildings. I don't anymore because I found out that a lot of what they say they don't practice. They will say things okay. that sound really good and really biblical, but they don't do what they practice. They, they don't do what they say. Okay. That's the problem with religious people. They say things that are sound... You, Could I finish you, my no, sentence? Would yourself. you allow me to finish my sentence, please? Okay. Thank you. The problem with a lot of religious people is they say good things which sound pretty good, but they don't practice what they preach. That's the problem. Okay. And that's, that's wow. why I'm asking here. Um, it's not just Johannes Grieber. There's another occultist who's quoted in some of your current literature... Uh, do you have a copy of the blue interlinear translation, the kingdom interlinear translation, the blue, the blue copy? No, I don't have uh, at the moment uh, under my eyes. No. Um, are you? Um, so you, are you, it seems that you're quite familiar with some publications of the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Have you started in the past, or are you making personal research? Can I ask? I'm doing personal research. I'm going through your book. Uh, it's been in, quite a long time. Can I finish my Please. sentence? Yeah. I, I, I'm doing research on the book Enjoy Life Forever. You're researching now, but no, have you researched in other publications? Of course, you said, you know, also this Watch Tower that you mentioned, it, but have you searched in other, now you mentioned it about the interlinear. It seems that you've been quite uh, uh, looking into our publications. Yes, I, um, yes I've, I've gone time, to jw.org. I have gone to jw.org and I've learned how to do searches by putting uh, words into the search bar, yeah. Um, okay, good. That's nice. There, 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 is a blue new, there is a blue New Testament called the Kingdom Interlinear Translation. Not the purple edition, the blue edition. Okay. And in Appendix 2A on page 1139, it quotes various Bibles for support in your rendering of John 1.1, 1, 1, that it, sh it should read the word was a God. Now, one of these is John S. Thompson's work, The Monotosaurin, published in 1829. Well, John S. Thompson was another occultist. He contacted spirits to help him with his Bible translation. You, sorry, can I ask you, are you interested in the occult hymns, uh, in the spiritistic... Uh, Am I interested or? in what? In occultism... No, no, I, I think the occult is wrong. I, I think the Bible wrong. forbids okay. no, Christians. I didn't, I didn't, no, I didn't get it uh, um, clear in my mind if you, where you stand on the subject. That's why I was a bit perplexed. I think it's something that Christians should avoid. Ah, OK, OK, that's fine. Yeah, but John so S... We, we, are, we are on the same line of thought. Well, no, no, yeah. no, because you quote on page 1139 of the Kingdom Interlinear Translation, Blue Edition, Appendix 2A... John S. Thompson's Monotosaurin, which on page 13 says the word was a God. Now, John S. Thompson got that from the spirit world, just like Grieber did. He didn't use Ouija okay. boards because the Ouija board wasn't invented in 1829. It was invented, invented decades okay. later. 
but he 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 contacted the spirits in seances and the spirits helped him with his translation the monotosaurum so that's another translation that the new world translation is based on and which it appeals to in support of its rendering that the word was not god but the word was a god um i i you know i, I don't mean to be uh rude um I, I wouldn't want to do that i want to be polite but i just um, don't understand this you see um i, I don't know um <laughs> i i personally don't see this there's so much uh i don't know why you you, you it seems that you're looking for uh i don't know the the little fault somewhere in our publications, because I think on the on the, there is much information that is published also in relation with John one one. I never come across with um, I don't know uh, with that um, quotation of how you call it this person that has done a, a translation um, under spiritistic uh, influence under yeah. Um, Who John S. Oh, Thompson be, or Grieber? I'm not being, but you, do you you say you do, you don't you don't you're not religious. You said you're not religious. I didn't say that. I said I no longer go to religious, religious buildings. Okay. I I do believe are you, in. I, I, are you uh, of any? Can, can I ask what don, don denomination you are uh, part of? I've just told um, you I don't go to any religious. You? I've just told you I don't go to any religious buildings anymore. I used to, but I I, I gave up over ten years ago. Okay. And where where did you used to go? I went to a Pentecostal church, a few Pentecostal okay. churches, and a few Baptist churches. Okay, so you were not satisfied with those religions? They don't practice what they preach. Okay, okay. Fair I like enough. people who look me in the face and say this or that or the other, and they do what they say. Okay. Have you ever been in that uh, Jehovah's Witness congregation? Um, um, I was invited to one which was opposite the eye hospital in Plymouth about 15 years ago and I went there it was packed and they've now sold that building it's now a Pentecostal church and I okay. also went about 20 years ago to a meeting at Tor Point um, Kingdom Hall in East Cornwall uh, East Cornwall okay so you, are you do you live in the area now yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm living in the area at, at the moment yeah okay Okay, so because personally I live here in London, so yeah. <laughs> it would be impossible also to meet up eventually. I uh, don't want to meet up with people. I don't want people to come and visit me. Uh, I don't, don't want, want to give oh, my okay, home address. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, okay. I, but you see, I think spiritism is wrong. And I don't understand why the Watchtower is appealing in its literature to two spiritists who used... Maybe, Spirits no, and seances. Could I finish my I sentence? Do, do Could I please I finish mean, my sentence? Than, Would you please allow me to finish my sentence? Would you please allow me to finish my sentence? Thank you. I yes, don't understand please. why the Watchtower is appealing to two spiritists, John S. Thompson and Johannes Grieber, to support their New World translation, which seems to have borrowed from the spiritistic renderings given to Grieber and John S. Thompson by the spirit world. So, you know, there seems to be a spiritistic influence in the New World Translation, which is why it reads the way it reads. No, I think that is your, I do believe it's a bit, uh, your speculation, because maybe there is a quotation of this translation. You said they've been inspired by, by you know, possibly demons or whatever. Uh, maybe it's a, just a quotation to, because we, our publication, the Times, that they quote from very, various uh, different uh, uh, translations of the Bible. You mm -hmm. mentioned in one, but there are hundreds of different translations that have been quoted in the past to support uh, or to prove certain points. Um, so it won't surprise me that in one publication that I have quoted from a, a, a source, I don't know, of people where they were maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, they didn't know, they were not aware of these people, as you say. Maybe you made a, an extensive research on these translators specifically, because you, it seems that you are quite knowledgeable on these two 
translators and all where did you get all this information about them being um, involved in spiritistic practices and using Ouija boards? Well, can I ask you where did you get all that information? Surely not from the other publications. Well, I, I actually bought Johannes Grieber's Bible and his book, Communication with the Spirit World of God, in which he talked okay. about how he asked the spirits to translate the Bible for him. And one of the first things the spirit world told him was that John 1.1 1, 1 was mistranslated. It should read, and the word was a God. Now, the yeah. only other Bible that reads that way is, well, it's not actually a Bible, it's, um, it's a literary work, is the Monotisaurin by John S. Thompson, who, who was another occultist who contacted the spirit yeah. world. And the spirits you, told John S. Thompson. How did you get to know that they are occult, occultist? Pardon? How did you get to know that these people were involved with the spiritistic practices? Well, Grieber wrote a second book, Communication with the Spirit World of God. I've got that book. And in that, he outlines how he had his first seance, um, how he contacted the spirits in seances, and eventually how he progressed to automatic writing, which is where you sort of have your eyes closed and you put a pen or a pencil in someone's hand and the hand would, would move across a blank piece of paper, giving communication from the spirit world. And eventually Grieber writes in this book how he, he moved on to the Ouija board. John S. Thompson was another occultist, but from the 1820s, so it was two centuries ago, and not very much is known about him, but he did have contact with the spirit world. And it was the spirit world who told him, on page 13 of the Monosisaurin, that John 1.1 1, 1 should read, and the word was a God. Well, those are the only two Bibles in English, before your New World Translation, that read, and the word was a God. I'm ignoring Archbishop Newcomb's New Testament um, because Archbishop Newcomb, who was a biblical scholar, wrote, and the word was God in John 1. Well, in, in could I just finish? Could I, could I please finish? But after yeah, his okay. death, after his death, a very wealthy man bought the copyright for Archbishop Newcomb's New, New Testament and the plates. I believe he was a Christadelphian, but I'm not certain. But he was a wealthy man with no theological training, no knowledge of the Greek and Hebrew, and he produced a revised version of Archbishop Newcomb's New Testament that reads, and the word was a God. So you can ignore Archbishop Newcomb because he never wrote the word was a God, he wrote the word was God. So you can ignore that. That leaves two Bibles before the New World Translation. Uh, Greek scriptures were published in 1950. Grieber's 1936 translation, which reads the word was a God, translated by Ouija board and the spirit world and John S. Thompson's Monotisaurin, which on page 13 says the word was a God, also translated by the spirit world. So Jehovah's Witnesses have obviously borrowed certain passages of their Bible. There's no, no, other no, passages no, from the spirit it, world. It, it, it's not really what you're saying because uh, if you look into other publications that we have published, they are specifically... Um, brochures on the God's name um, and how we get to, to translate by even in the Bible. But, but um, the reference, yeah. Um, you, you might find uh, the information on why because the, 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 we look into the um, times to translate said I'm not, I'm not a, an expert on that but I can tell you because I read in the past I know that they've been looking into the Greek original. No, Greek, no, no, uh, no, no. They, no, uh, they there are they, no they Greek didn't scholars look, uh, to come to the conclusion. They examine um, what um, you know, what, what the original text. Uh, as much no, as we can go far back. To no, the, sir. Near to the to the original. No, sir. Greek that is and not true. The Watchtower has not one Greek scholar or Hebrew scholar with a PhD well, in Greek or a PhD you put, in Hebrew. You're quoting just to, to, from one publication, but we have published in hundreds. So I'm asking you a question. Uh, Could you, 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 can, you, you can base only uh, your conclusion. I don't know sir, what you're accusing. Sir, so in other words, you're accusing us to, to use spiritistic uh, material in order to come to our um, writing our publication, which is quite preposterous, to be honest. Um, I've been a witness for 40 years, <laughs> um, plus... 40 years and never come across to this objection or this 
kind of accusation, and I never found anything in the publication I read through all these years in relation with spiritistics, uh, and um, my faith surely forbid me to, to to listen or to read. You yourself, you 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 displayed some interest in looking at in those books that are related with these people that allegedly they they are translated. Uh, through statistic uh, influence, but personal would never even come close to my mind to want to read those books because uh, I've learned from the very outset, uh, once I became one of Jehovah's Witnesses, that we don't have nothing to do with anything, uh, object or publications in relation with, with spiritistic um, practices. So what you're saying, um, I don't know, it, it doesn't really personally um, doesn't make much sense but um, I understand your viewpoint I appreciate that may I comment and uh, hopefully hopefully uh, keep, keep on if you keep on searching in the publications um, online you, you will come to a conclusion that you have witnesses really they may try I comment they, they try, they try uh, in all sincerity they best to please to may, convey, I, may I be able to, to speak because you're, you're Sorry, speaking non-stop I was uh, letting you finish, so please let me finish. And, yeah, but this uh, is a try, sermon. Uh, this is our, this is our a... best to, uh, to convey the truth that is in the Bible, our knowledge, uh, and much research, honest research has been uh, done in the past and still has been uh, accomplished today in order to convey this truth in the Bible to people. We, of course, we, the, Can I please speak? Never, never Can we have a two-way conversation? You're, you're preaching a to, sermon to... at me. Would you please not preach a sermon at me? Would you allow me to speak? Your watched our society does not have one Greek or Hebrew scholar. If I'm wrong, could you please name a Greek or Hebrew scholar that's worked on the New World Translation? All the people who worked on the New World Translation were now, amateurs. There are quotations quotation from Greek scholars. Maybe they are not uh, directly... Uh, what you define uh, uh, Greek scholars, but you don't, you don't find even the names in our um, uh, translation anywhere of the people that have uh, been involved in doing the translation. That it was uh, for a purpose, because the, the praise goes to, to God, Jehovah, which is the Almighty God, it doesn't go to the translator. So Jehovah's Witnesses have always been very careful not to put their name on their publications when they translate on the right era of things. Because, because they don't have any knowledge of the original Greek or Hebrew languages. They're not scholars. They have knowledge, but they don't uh, um, blow the trumpet in front of them. They don't say who was the one that brought, they translated the Bible because it's a committee, usually, or, or different people. Do you know who headed right up the committee? Do you know who headed up the 1950 committee that produced the Greek scriptures in 1950? Do you know who headed, headed up? talking about what, what publication, sorry? The New World Translation Greek Scriptures were published in 1950. Do you know who headed up the translation the committee? I don't know the people that were involved. They don't let us know because, it, as I said... We don't I'm asking a question and you're going off on a tangent. Please answer the question. Do you know who headed up the translation committee in 1950? I, I said, no, of course I know. I don't know. You don't know as well. I, I do know. I do know. And I'll give you the name. There were five translators. The head translator was Fred Franz, who later became president of the Watchtower Society in 1977. He was the head of the translation committee in 1950. Yeah. Now, he... I, I, sorry if I interrupt. I think I've got things to do as well. It's been nice to talk to you, but unfortunately, uh, it seems that we're not getting to fruition. If uh, you want to know more... Uh, I think, uh, stop there selling. Is, uh, there is, stop yeah, being no, a salesman. You're selling. Yeah, no, but, uh, I don't mean to be rude. I wish you're you selling. You're day. acting as a salesman. I wish, no, I wish Why don't you have a dialogue <laughs> with me? It's been nice to talk to you. Why don't you have a two-way um, conversation with me if, rather than trying to act like to... a salesman? Sorry? Why don't you have a two-way conversation with me rather than try and act like a salesman? Fred no, Franz. No, I try. I try to have. I, I need to go now. I appreciate. Uh, just, just I, give me I three. Go. Just give me three. Because three I'm minutes. A, no, I'm a family, a family man. I'm a, a worker as well. 
I mean, a different situation probably from yours. So I don't have all that time available in my hand. So what I'm saying, I appreciate what you said. It was a nice conversation. But if you want to know more... Again, you're, you're, you're selling. Oh. Now you're selling. If I want to know more, you're selling. Stop wasting time. Fred Franz had one year of biblical studies at the University of Cincinnati from 1913 to 1914. Okay. He left the university after anyway, one year in 1914, nice dedicating nice himself day. to the Bye. Watchtower Bye. full time. Bye. Bye. Gonna run away like a rabbit. Yeah. Uh, well, I was about to say that at um, Fred Fred Franz, who was one of the five translators of the 1950 edition of the New World Translation, he was called to Scotland in 1954. There was a Jehovah's Witness called Douglas Walsh, who wanted to be exempted from compulsory military service. And the British government or, or a member of the British government didn't want that. And so he went on trial. And Fred Franz was called as a, a defence witness for this Jehovah's Witness, Douglas Walsh. On page seven of the court transcript, Fred Franz was asked by the prosecution barrister, quote, I think you are able to read and follow the Bible in Hebrew, Greek, Latin, Spanish, Portuguese, German and French. Fred Franz replied, yes. That's the court transcript for the Douglas Walsh trial of 1954, which was held in Scotland, and Fran said yes, he did speak all of those languages. On page 102 of the court transcript, the prosecution barrister asked him, quote, you yourself read and speak Hebrew, do you? Answer, I do not speak Hebrew. Question, you do not? Answer, no. Question, can you yourself translate that into Hebrew? Answer, which? Question, the fourth verse of the second chapter of Genesis. Answer, you mean here, yes. Answer, no, I wouldn't attempt, and then on page 103, to do that. So Fred Franz, who was the head translator of the New World Translation, perjured himself under oath in court. That means he, he lied under oath in court. He claimed on page seven that he spoke Hebrew, but when handed an English Bible and asked to translate Genesis chapter 2 verse 4 from English into Hebrew, he said, I wouldn't attempt to do that. The man was um, a liar and he perjured himself under oath. And that was the head translator of the 1950 edition New World Translation. So it's a joke translation. Thank you. I'm asking my subscribers who live outside of the United Kingdom to phone up congregations, English-speaking congregations in their country on my behalf. I'm asking them to do this. Say to them that you would like to attend a Zoom meeting and then get the Zoom details for me. Get the Zoom ID code and the Zoom login code. And then please give me accurate details of the name of the congregation, which town or city is it based in, what is the name of the state? Don't give abbreviations because I might not understand what you mean. And which which country it is in and the time zone that they use, please. I ask you to do this because I cannot possibly afford to make expensive phone calls outside of the UK on my phone. I couldn't possibly afford to do this. It would it would cost me it would cost me far more money than I get every week just to make phone calls abroad. However, I can make Zoom calls outside of the UK for free. So, all you have to do is go to jw.org, scroll down till you see the picture of the man preaching on the right-hand side where it says attend a meeting, click on that. Then you click on the blue box in the bottom left, find a location near you. And then you'll have a screen, I've got a picture of Cornwall and, and Plymouth. You simply um, click on one of those little um, orange tags. And when, once you click on those tags, then what you will find is it will give you the telephone number for that congregation. I can't afford to phone outside of the UK, but if you live in the same country, you can afford. And you just need to say, I'd like to attend a meeting. Please give me the details. And then you will find that my email address it's at the start of most of my videos. It's also below at the bottom of the screen. Simply uh, email me the Zoom details. But be accurate, please. I'd rather have just one or two 
details that are accurate than 20 which are confusing to me. I am dyslexic so please don't use abbreviations. Be clear about the time zone and remember I need the congregation name, the town or the city, the state. Don't use abbreviations in the country um, because I simply am finding it very difficult to continue this work now here in the UK. So many Je Jehovah's Witnesses have been told not to speak to me. Thank you.